Boy, do we have a treat today. Shout out to one of my subscribers, Birdie Lisa 246 for finding a nice recorded live version of Sunshine by Alice in Chains. I remember last week we were doing Sea of Sorrow and I think I had mentioned that uh, Sunshine has got great harmonies but there's no good live version. Well, they went out and found a good version for us to listen to. And the best part about this is it's at the off-ramp in Seattle, Washington, August 21st, 1990. The off-ramp is now called El Corazon, which not only have I seen many of my favorite bands perform there live, I've played there numerous times. So this is going to be awesome. Let's watch Alice in Chains perform Sunshine in 1990. Now, this is some raw footage, but it's dope. You're going to love it. Here we go. Look at the crowd, look at the footage, someone's got a big old camera. Look, they play the intro. Here's checking his drop D. Starts on the A, which is the five of D, which we're in the key of D. So we're starting on that five. Come on. Such a blues riff too, here we go. slow down a little bit maybe right there all right before they get into verse two that first verse he outlines the chords perfectly dun, 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 dun. It starts with a minor third doom doom down down that's like that bluesy minor third down down but then he goes up to that tritone there the major third of the a chord down to the flat seven of the a chord that's a perfect those are the two notes It'll tell you what chord it is, and it's an A7 chord. Now, Jerry's doing like some ZZ Top style uh, riffing on those notes, and you'll notice ba -bow -bow, goes down to bow -bow when Lane sings. So he changes the riff to be a little lower so that Lane's part can fit on top. Then they resolve do, 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 down to the drop D. So they're in A. The verse is in A. It's kind of dominant 70 vibe. Boom. Then we're in D blues. Do, 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 do. And then, then some dude came down to touch the mother, mother touch, dude ain't here no more, suck your woman down, he goes down, such a blues lick, man, that little Dorian maybe, he's hitting that major six to the minor third, anyway, enough of that theoretical talk, let's get to verse two. I went too far back. Way too far back. Let's get to verse two. Come on. Hold on, I'm gonna go back to that fill. He does ba 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 one handed. Ooh, just a cool thing. Go back. I want to hit this again. Listen to how much they slow down. We go from A, or no, we're in D. 
do. So instead of changing keys or changing chords, we change tempos for this chorus, and we stay in D. Uh, some guy pops up. Uh, by the way, this is 1990, so we got Mike Starr on bass. You can see his left hand there doing the work. You can hear him too. Here we go. by the mic stand. So he backs out on the harmony. Okay, so I've never seen this before, but if you notice, that first one is harmony, and then Jerry gets bapped in the mouth with a mic, probably from the Riley crowd, rowdy crowd, and then he, uh, and then he just goes guitar mode only. Been there. So listen. I love when he drops out right when Lane hits the major third again. Lane's hitting those major thirds. Uh, let's see what chord we're at. Back to one. Dum, dum, dum. So the chords are D, F, D. And when he, when he hits that D the second time, Lane hits an F sharp, which is just so beautiful. And remember, this is an E flat. I'm talking as if it's in standard tuning. So Jerry and Lane's parts respectively jerry goes sunshine right and then lane goes sunshine and that's that f sharp i'm talking about right there um in the two parts together you'll hear lane actually hits the note that jerry's on for a second and bounces off so it's like Sunshine, sunshine. Goes that half step up. I love that. Uh, I think that's called oblique motion, where one moves around and the other one stays the same. I love it. Let's keep it going. Boom. It's popped in the mouth. And it's supposed to be so sweet, love, madam boy. Sweet, love, madam boy. But instead of singing that, Jerry gets bopped in the mouth and backs off. Keep Solo. His tone is bright and sharp. Loses his mic, but he's got a guy there to help him put his mic back up. Mullet mic. Alright, let's listen to the solo again without me talking. Blues legs. Triads up there. Yeah. Oh man! Let's get it one more time. So Jerry's playing. Um, like a D chord, he slides that D chord up. Now it's an F chord, but it's still a D chord shape. And then uh, I think he does it. And then he goes to an A chord. So just from there, yeah. So he's on the A, and then they resolve to the A. And a B. Interesting. Let's get those chords. B flat, A, B flat, F, D, F, A. <laughs> That's cool. So the chords are, uh, mother, please, D to F, A, set me free, B flat, F, 
Team of the Mies. F. Just from there, B flat. F. A. I tried to sing all the parts at once. That's cool. I never knew that before. Let's keep going. Back to the verse. That riff, it's in all the verses. It makes the A7 chord a blues minor kind of right. But we're still, it's still an A7, an A dominant, like brother. The song brother is an A7 chord through and through. Here we go. The blues can be in major and minor. So an A7 is like you can play a minor third over that. It's gonna sound dope. I don't know why those are the rules of blues. That's just how the ear works. That's how it works. Let's go. Sing vocal and just one line back to the chorus. There he goes, there he did it. Lane's locks. He's got dreads. Working on some dreads right here. Sunshine! Yeah! He does a little, yeah! A little Soli Erna. Godsmack, huh? That's where uh, uh, Godsmack, they don't sound like Alice in Chains at all, but they take a lot of influence from Alice in Chains, and I love that. Mainly that. Yeah! Okay, so, what's next? I love the harmony. So the harmony at the end is ah. The Lane's part is I don't care no more. And then I don't care no more. So I love that when Jerry goes from the more the three to the one, but Lane stays on the more stays on the five down. So it's down down. More, and then they're on a fifth to end the song. A beautiful actual fifth, not a perfect fourth, but an actual fifth. Let's listen to that one more time. I can't tell if Jerry's singing right there. He might have backed up, but he might be even more. I don't care no more. That D is kind of hard to get out in a rock setting. It's a lower D. It's like a tenor, tenor, low tenor C. It's right above that. Um, but it can come out. But I found live playing with distortion and drums and a crowd that's literally beating the S out of you. It's hard to hit those low Ds. It's not a D. It's not that D. But it's D. I don't care. No. So the I don't care. I don't care, I don't care. They follow each other there, parallel, you know, diatonic thirds, and then no more, no more, right? They, they, they break off a little bit from, uh, from the parallel motion and do a perfect, awesome harmony. It's one of my favorites of all time. Obviously, I've talked mostly about it. Uh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Now this is 1990, so facelift is all they got. Let's see what they got next. Maybe next week we'll do one of these songs. Confusion? Oh. Stay tuned next week for Alice in Chains, 1990 at the off-ramp. Confusion. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been awesome. If you liked what you heard, make sure and give a little like. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? Take care, y'all, and don't forget, 